sure check it out. Listen, check it out now. Story time, niggas. Now, listen, man. I, I used to be with a chick, man. White chick. She was bad as a motherfucker. Pussy was slamming. She was a freak. I ain't gonna lie, man. She did some shit that made me reconsider why I ain't start dating white chicks early. I can't even lie. Now, I do love my sisters, but it is what it is. Now, listen. When I was with this chick, man, I kind of realized after a while, after a couple months... Man, I ain't doing what I supposed to be doing. I'm falling off. I ain't being on my grind enough. I'm kind of taking a step back at everything that's my goals, okay? Shit, I used to do DJing, even doing my my radio show. I was like, yo, I'm kind of falling off. And you realize that some chicks, man, they're not people who help build you up in terms of what you do apart from them. They kind of sidetrack you, distract you, and also kind of bring you down talent-wise, right? Such could be the case for basketball players. Such could be the case for a nigga with a regular job. And such was definitely the case with Future Vandross. Now, Future, he been lit since forever, since Racks on Racks days, all right? He gets with Sierra. Oh, my God. Man, Sierra was one foot in and one foot out of the music industry because she was ice cold. He got with Sierra and basically just wasn't the same. Like, Future Music was aight back then, right? Then Future kind of let her go free. You got to let some of these birds go free. And as soon as he let her go, man, Future been turning up like a motherfucker, okay? Dribbling like Kobe during the rape case, okay? He doing all type of shit. Step back to Steph Curry. Three, he doing all type of Vince Carter dunks. He is turning up. Now, again, I'm not blaming it completely on Sierra. I'm just saying when he was with Sierra, clearly his career did not agree with that shit, okay? But now he's doing his thing. Regardless, they did have a kid together. They did not get married. Good for him, but they got a kid together, right? So they got a kid together, but now Sierra's moved on, and they're fighting over the kid. And you got you got to imagine, like, yo, Sierra now got a kid, and now she's with this other nigga. He's a simp, right? Russell Wilson, ain't nothing wrong with being a simp, but that's not my type of wave, okay? But that's what he's doing, right? She's with this guy. This guy's now rubbing his hand in baby Future's head every day, teaching him the ways of simping. Probably got him doing all type of corny stuff. I'm not going to lie. It is kind of dope to see him teaching football and shit, but I ain't going to lie, man. Listen. Russell, you better wait till your baby pops out of her stomach, man. You're doing too much for baby Future, okay? Now, Future been trying to get custody of his kid, right? While Sierra been trying to get full custody. Sierra claiming all type of shit in court. Sierra claiming that Future is a drug addict. He's on some bullshit. He ain't got nowhere to really take care of the kid. And based on his lifestyle, it's nowhere fit for a kid to be. Now, Future been saying, what the fuck? Yo, I'm that kid's father, and I'm going to be in that kid's life. I ain't going to be having no nigga pushing a stroller, changing the diapers, doing all of that, right? So they've been going back and forth in court for a while, right? Now, there were also some other lawsuits that were filed. Basically, they sued each other for defamation because they were all talking greasy about each other in the public. Now, those lawsuits have been dropped. So they squashed all of that, and finally they've squashed the custody issue now. Uh, they will be split in custody of baby future, which means both parents have custody over the kid, and they'll determine when the kid hangs or stays or lives with future as opposed to Sierra, right? It's different than just one parent having custody because then it's really at the discretion of the parent and the court when you even see your own kid, and that's never cool. So I think this is actually the most fair way how to do everything. It's just kind of sad that, Family court usually just doesn't go this way. Family court usually favors the mom, right? The the family court sees the mom as the more caring individual and usually the more responsible and more fit person to raise a kid and they just give the kid completely to that parent. So I'm kind of glad that I would turn it out. I don't think Future is mad about it turning out like that because I think he just want to be a part of his son's life. And, of course, Sierra, I don't know what she think, you know what I mean? Listen, she's about to have a kid with Russell Wilson. Of course, we know he just took some L's in the fucking playoffs. But it was definitely refreshing to see after he was trying to make uh, baby Future into a Seahawks fan. Uh, listen, Future got his kid and kind of swagged him back up like, yo, no, we don't. No, 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 no. No, we don't. All right? Again, we're going to see more of this because they're going to go back and forth. If Future gets arrested, if he gets into a shootout, any type of shit that happens to Future, believe me, Sierra's going to be back in court. And that's just the curse of having a baby mom man you being with a chick or actually you not being with a chick that you got a child with believe me she gonna be petty as hell looking over her shoulder and anything to do with you is only evidence for her to use in court to either get more child support or to get custody from you that's just what it is so right now salute the future salute to sierra as well they're splitting custody of the kid all right get in the box, you guys like them and subscribe to boy academics i'm up